In this video, we're going to be looking at some of the uh, things that I, uh, or shortcuts that I usually use in Xcode on day-to-day -day basis to make my development life a little bit easier. And uh, we're going to be looking at Xcode 12.5, and uh, I'll just go through uh, the things that I can think of uh, at that at the moment. Uh, there may be a lot more, um, but I will only be focusing on the things that I be using uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, one of the very useful shortcuts that I do every day is Command Shift O, and that shortcut basically brings up this open quickly uh, menu for you. And in here, you can type basically anything. For instance, if you're in a file and then you remember that there's um, a, let's have a look. For instance, a scheduler type. Let's say schedule relative. For instance, if you remember that there's a function called schedule relative. Uh, from anywhere you can just press command shift o and say schedule relative and then you will see all the different occurrences of that function and you can just press enter and just go to that <clears throat> place command shift command shift though is really really fast and i've seen a lot of developers use still command shift f to find things but the problem with command shift f that is that there is no auto completion so you can just be ty typing anything in here uh, of course if you make the smallest mistake then that symbol won't be fine won't be found but if you write here a little bit incor incorrectly for instance if you say scheduled relative uh, schedule you can see if, even if I make big mistakes it can still find the symbols for me so that's command shift O and the other thing that I thought to talk about is uh, the new tab system in Xcode 12 um, and that is uh, that you have these window tabs in here which uh, we previously didn't have them and one thing that may be confusing for developers that haven't used these tabs before and are still using tabs like this uh, is that these tabs to begin with are italic and italic tabs mean that and they're not uh, sticky that means that if i go to another file uh, that tab will be replaced by the new file uh, you can make a tab sticky by either double clicking on it like this to make it stick there so if you now open another file and click on another file, a new tab will be open. Or you could just start editing that file and that signals to Xcode that you're in editing mode for this file, which should automatically make it sticky. So as soon as I start typing something here, then you can see that this tab has become sticky. And of course, to close any tab, you can simply press Command and W to close it. If you're on the last tab, and if you press Command W, it's going to close this Xcode window for you. So if I want to, for instance, go to this event Swift file, I can just say Command Shift O event Swift, and I will immediately go there. While you're in this file, another uh, shortcut that may be useful for you is Command L, which is jump to specific uh, line of code. Let's say 24, it will jump there. And also while talking about line numbers. You can also use Command Shift O to jump to specific lines in specific files. For instance, if there's a Reactive Swift file here and there's line 48, uh, we can now go to another file and just say Reactive Swift, and then you can just say colon 48, and it will jump to that specific file. If you didn't specify the colon, it would just jump to that file, like that. So that's that's pretty nice. Um, Another shortcut that I use quite often is Command-0. So if I say Command-0 here, you can see that I'm hiding the project structure here. That's really useful for me. Sometimes I want to uh, basically free up some space on my monitor to focus on the code. So I can just say Command-0 and just hide the project structure. So that's good. And then talking about these uh, things that you can hide and show on the main screen, you can also say Command-Option-0 which is going to hide the right side of the screen for you. So command zero, uh, so command zero and command option zero. Then you get a lot more space for your uh, code. And then if you just press those buttons again, then you get your spaces back. So those are things that are, that are also quite useful if you're, if you want to get some more real estate on the screen. The other a shortcut I use is command shift Y. And that brings up the um, debug area for you. And then Command Shift Y also hides it. So if you have 
the debug area, the project structure, and all these symbols on the right hand side, then you can just say command zero, command option zero, command Y to hide that all. And to bring it back, you can just reverse that by pressing the exact same shortcuts again. So those are pretty good. Um, another thing that is quite useful is just to do a find in the whole project. And that is command shift F, uh, command shift F, and then you just press it. And then you do a global search. In here, you can also uh, basically search in specific places in the code. For instance, if you don't want to look into your pods for sp special symbols, then you can just select your main project, for instance. Uh, you can also change how you want to search. If you want to search for things, for anything containing the words that you're looking for, then you can do that, or you just say matching word. So that's also really nice. The other thing that I really like about search is that you, you can actually kind of do regex, kind of. Uh, for instance, you can look for anything, any line of code that starts with slash slash space uh, and then a pattern, for instance, any word. It can go, for instance, say any word characters and then space as. And then you can see that it found that for us. So it's right here. Um, so that's that's really good. You can use patterns as well while you're searching. And that's Command Shift F basically to do a global search. Um, now that uh, we're in this area, this is one of the most uh, used commands for me when I'm using Xcode is that I want to jump from uh, this area on the left hand side of my, my project structure. For instance, in this case, uh, the search field, I want to jump back to my code, but I don't want to use the mouse because I just want my fingers to be constantly on the keyboard. It's a lot easier for me. So I can just say Command and J, and that allows me to move my uh, focus right to the code area. And just by pressing Enter after that, I'm back in the code. I can then do Command Shift F, I'm in the search field, Command J, Enter, I'm back in the code. So that's also a pretty good uh, combination. Um, another uh, shortcut that you can use if you're searching for instance here and then you want to go back to the project structure you can just press command one and all these tabs up here they have their own commands so if you say command two you go here to your uh, basic repository command three four you can just use commands with any of these to go for instance to your breakpoints so all these have their own command shortcuts so command one two three four five six seven eight and nine so these are quite useful. Another thing that I really like in Xcode is the filter down here. So if there's, for instance, I want to see any file that starts with, um, that ends with a plist, so any plist file, I can just filter and I just say plist, plist. But I can also get to that using a shortcut and that is command option J. So I just jump back to filter and I say plist and command J, I can jump back to my code. Command option J, I'm in the filter. And command J, I'm back in the code. So that's also pretty good. Command shift J to go to the filter. Now, uh, the other thing that I really like in Xcode is the ability to be able to fold codes and unfold all the code. Uh, for instance, if there's a big file that I'm looking at now, it's gonna be maybe a challenge to find a big file but maybe this is actually good enough uh, here we have a few functions and I want to get like a an idea of all the functions available in this class uh, or in this file rather I can do command option shift left and that folds all the code for me so I can just look at the function signatures and then command all shift right is going to unfold everything this is really useful if you're if you have a file that is huge like this is not huge at all but we can test it here as well and you can see it's folded everything for us and it puts these dot dot dots for us you can just double tap on any of these to basically expand their implementation as you wish or if you want to as, as i said expand everything command option shift right should do it for you that's all that's also really good um, and um, let's see what else 
is going to be helpful maybe for you. Uh, we talked about um, the project structure. The other option that I really like to do in project structure is to expand all or collapse all. So sometimes in this project, for instance, you just got here, you don't know what's what, and you want to see everything in the project. You want to see the entire structure of the project. It's going to be quite a cumbersome task to go through every folder and then expand. But what you can do in Xcode is that as soon as you get here, hold down option and then press this symbol. And that will expand everything in the project for you. So you can get a really good idea of all the files and all the folders, whether they were groups or physical folders. And to collapse everything again, because if you collapse here and then expand again, everything is expanded again as you left it. But if you want to collapse everything again, just hold down Alt again and then press the symbol. Everything is going to be completely collapsed. So holding down Alt and then pressing the Chevron here whether it's pointing to the right or pointing down, it's going to expand everything and collapse everything respectively. So uh, I think maybe this is a uh, just a short introduction to like a small Xcode crash course series that I can put out there. If you're interested in more uh, tips and tricks about Xcode, I'll be more than glad to share my knowledge in Xcode with you. Have a great day. Bye.